All right, so yeah, check it out. There it is. I put some of the blue stuff in it again. My 3D printer, yay, right? Anyway, I went to glass. I'm printing directly on the glass now. And it's uh, much smoother. It's better. Glue stick is amazing. Um, I figured out stuff wasn't plugged in inside of here. And I had to cr uh, crank the potentiometer up on the power supply. So that sucked. Uh, but after I did that, I started getting great prints. Like, here they are. This here is the cat. And of course, I kind of screwed up. It wasn't, it wasn't set up right yet. And you can see here, with the voltage potentiometer down, I got holes in the side of the cat that aren't supposed to be there. I printed another copy of this, but uh, I gave it away already. So, um, so there's that. Here's this little weird Asian guy, little weird Asian alien thing with a. I don't know what kind of hair cut you call that. Anyway, real smooth. Sat on a raft, so it's rough on the bottom, but everything else is exactly how it should be. There's no holes in anything. It's beautiful stuff. And then the test cube that they give you, or that you, you can get online. Two and a half millimeter cubes, kind of shiny too. You can kind of see the glint off of the lights there. There it is. Yay. All right, but here are the firewalls from the flight test swappable. This is the original wood one, obviously, and this is the one I printed. And it's got, uh, it's got all those tiny little holes where they're supposed to be. You just can't see it because it's white. I might use a different filament for the next one. But anyway, that lines up perfectly. All the holes are perfectly lined up. It's great and uh, it's very sturdy. Uh, it took a lot of pressure for me to snap the other one in half and this one here, is very robust, so uh, pretty happy with it. Uh, looking forward to printing out more crap too, so hooray! All right, peace. All right, so I'm back with my printer again, hooray! Um, so we all saw everything else from the last time, a little short, two and a half millimeter cube. This deal here, a little uh, Teletubby as Kevin puts it, the uh, firewalls. I'm gonna do this one sometime next, but I wanted to test the printer and see how high she'll go. So I set it to do a one millimeter, uh, well, I mean, it's a one millimeter square external diameter uh, square tube with a base in it. Um, so it's gonna go to 30, uh, 300 millimeters high. I'm at 56%, so twice that. I'm looking forward to see what she looks like when she's done. This is so that I can make sure everything's good all the way up those Z axes. And, uh, and then I'll be ready to start printing cool stuff. All right, see ya. Okay, what's up? So, um, I'm not gonna be too long on this, but uh, I'm working on my 3D printer here. I got some ground school activities coming up here, and I'm, I want you to guys to guess what's on the menu here. And what kind of stuff am I printing on? What are these for? What do these do? Pay no attention to those three tiny holes there. Don't don't look at that. Look away. Look look over here. Don't look at that. Anything that's just you know what? I'm just cutting this short. Just want you guys to know I'm getting ready for you. And uh, when these are done, this is gonna be sweet. So uh, there we are. I used my software to put all of the stuff on there. And uh, every last piece that I have collected so far that I would use just so I have them in a plastic bag for uh, for ground school so everybody's happy. So uh, it's going to be fun. A couple of weeks. Wish me luck. i got to talk about this thing in front of a group of guys. So, yeah. Anyway, neat stuff. This is all RC airplane stuff. It's very cool. That's a big plate. This is probably the largest amount of space I've taken up on that heated uh, print bed so far. Uh, so, in about seven hours, these should be done. Wish me luck. Oh, my goodness. Good morning, good morning. So, I did it. I decided to give it a shot. I downloaded this free wing section. This is the whole wing, all of these parts. They've been printing since about midnight last night. We're 11 hours in. Well, at least I think we're 11 hours in. 
anyway that's what I got going on I'm not gonna give away the plane but the plans were $14 or the uh, the CAD files were only $14 for this it's got landing gear a steerable nose wheel uh, four channel with flapper ons so throw a six channel receiver in but this is gonna be really cool and I I almost bought a couple of warbirds but I said nah there are so many of those out there I'm really interested in the I just find the new contemporary designs to be really interesting so I printed this wing out in all green I'm gonna do the same for some other parts you know for the trim like the front cowl will be this color and the tail will be this color and then we'll do something for the mid body and the uh, landing gear that's a little different hooray all right so 11 hours in 52 percent complete looking like a 22 hour print job hooray all right there's the one thing about this that look good it looks like it's gonna work good the video of this thing flying was good uh, the hard part is um, waiting for everything to print out otherwise assembly takes an hour all right I'll catch up with you later when more is going on yep there it is we are at how many hours of printing 18 hours and 40 minutes ago our forefathers brought forth upon this print plate a new wing. This is every piece for this wing. They're 88% complete. I'm expecting another two hours to three before it's complete. And then I'll be moving on to additional parts. But this is going to be really cool. I really like the design of this plane, so I'm looking forward to this. Oh, yeah. Just those three are left. That one there. That one there. And that one that just moved away from me. How rude. There it is. So those three are going to get finished up here. And then I can move on to some fuselage parts. And control surfaces. Catch you later. Whoa! I dropped the phone. I'm uh, rocking my pajamas this morning. How do you like my fancy? Woo! All right, so still getting ready for flight school. Here's all some parts, a bunch of goodies. CA glue had some mishaps. Just to show off the Terminator head, we painted that yesterday. Mark Wade and I. Here it is in black in draft mode and it was just too rough didn't have nice smooth surfaces on it but this we threw a black base coat on it it was gray when I printed it but then we hit it with a chrome paint and kind of see it reflecting off of that so it looks pretty sweet we gave it a gunmetal look nice light coating oh let's do it like that there we are Woo! beauty of going live on clocks forward day set your clocks forward today um beauty of being on clocks forward day is that you guys are all asleep still while i'm screwing around so there's some parts this is all the wing right over here all of that it's going to be a 38 inch wingspan here are some control surfaces and some fuselage parts and that's what i've got going so far um, most finished up this morning sometime. Now I moved on to the dog. We're going to 3D print the dog next. What do you got there, puppy? Come on, give me some of that. What is that? Drop it. Good boy. Here, you want to go get it? Here. You want to get it? Oh, you want to get it, don't you? You want to get it? Okay, don't go get it. Oh, that's a good boy. All right. So, over here are some additional parts for the plane. Uh, this is landing gear and, uh, uh, covers for the uh, servos uh, the motor mounts being printed under the head right now uh, a few other parts I'm not necessarily familiar with the big long ones are the 
rear gear. This is for straight up wire and this is for the 3D printed wheels I'm going to be making. These two are for the front uh, nose portion, the nose wheel, and part of these are for the steering mechanism. But this has only been going on for 44 minutes. This is my third print attempt today on this one. Uh, take a look at that. Yeah, 44 minutes in. This is my third print attempt. Here are a couple of covers. Uh, I was having adhesion issues on the on the uh, base, so I had to put some more hot glue, or not hot glue, but uh, glue stick. Liberal amounts of glue stick. Best friend for printing on glass. All right. That's pretty much it. There she is. So when these come off in six hours, I've got some more fuselage parts to uh, print and some wheels and one other thing that I wanted in a different color. So that's where we're at. Six hours. <laughs> All right, bye. Hello, Facebook. Back again, another update. I have printed four sets of green parts, including these. These have to get to 16 inches tall. They are probably about, I don't even remember. I don't even want to think about it. They just, they're taking, they're gonna take a while. So, these are the control surfaces. They're coming up, I'm really excited. I've used a oh, whole hell of a lot of this green. A lot of green, a lot. Um, I can't tell you how much so far. I'll weigh that spool when I'm done tell you how far we gotten so I got excited and I had to get to work all those stacks of wing parts were there here's the fuselage and landing gear and etc but uh, here's the wing kind of excited about that there she is one end to another looking good pretty sturdy as far as wings go you know I mean it's a plastic wing I've never flown one of these before but if you hold it up to the light, you can see the support channels in there that provide the rigidity. So it looks pretty good. And if I bring it up to this guy here, which is the Speedster, Flight Test Speedster, my wingspan is almost identical to that. So this is going to be pretty cool. I am excited. Give it, give it some time. But they keep telling me when that ends I can print the other part of the nose gear that I neglected to print and uh, I've already fixed the files and stuff but I gotta get this to finish and then I can print those parts and we'll have landing gear oh it's gonna be so cool here's the rear gear pretty cool this is import uh, some port uh, stuff on the bottom it'll look like this when it's done and uh, so that'll sit underneath the plane, under the wings, there's the engine mount. Uh, this is one half of the uh, landing gear, the nose wheel, and that's where the wheel goes in. But there's another piece that's on a, some kind of a post that goes up in through the flange that fits in there, which is this piece here. So it'll go up in there and then I'll have steerable nose wheel. So that's where we're at. Wing is done. I just have to put the control surfaces on, make them happy. We're gonna be good to go. Ground school is gonna be fun. All right. See you.